Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. We played as Tainted Maggie last time and unfortunately kind of crashed and burned, I'll be honest. Um, things didn't really go our way. Um, this time I'm going to run as... Let's do Tainted Samson. I'm trying to play some characters I haven't played in a while. We'll hop back onto the modded characters and deleted and all that sort of good stuff in a little bit. But yeah, I think um, playing as some characters I haven't played in a little while is a good idea right now. Take some damage here. We get that, which gives us two more cards, which gives us two more cards. <laughs> Adjustment's really good this early on. Get two bombs. Full card lets us get out for free as well. Okay, that was pretty, that was pretty positive. That was nice. Thank you. Okay, let's keep this going. Let's keep this trainer going. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Um, for the question of the day today, um, what is something that you will be doing for your New Year's? What's what's coming up for your New Year's or your Christmas? What sort of your plans, what you got going on? For me, I've, I've actually got quite a few plans going on at the minute. Unfortunately, for the first time ever, which is, this, this, this is kind of annoying, I'm probably going to have to work on New Year's Eve. That's unfortunate, but I'm willing to do it. I work at a startup, unfortunately. There's kind of got to be some sacrifices. Uh, I probably won't get many kills here. Okay, that is not what I expected to see, but there you go. Um, yeah, I've got to make some sacrifices, unfortunately. Uh, by the way, I didn't even... I didn't even take a, a, a hot minute to check what the hell this item I picked up does. I cannot remember. Um, I think it's good, but yeah, I do not remember whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately, I probably am going to have to work, but I'm not going to be working on the night. I mean, I've, I've, I've told my boss, <laughs> regardless of whether it needs doing, I'm not going to be working on the night. But that does mean that I have the night to do whatever we want, and I've kind of got a few plans. Is that a tinted rock there? That's a weird-looking tinted rock. Um... I'm going to pop this world on this floor to see the secret room here. What what sort of tinted rock is that? What the hell? Oh, it's, it's a double tinted rock. Okay. Um, Not what I was expecting to see. Oh, dude, that was bullshit. <laughs> judgment here. Um, I'm going to carry the judgment over to the uh, secret room. And then what was our other card? Oh, the stars. Um, Yeah, okay. Let me, let me do a little bit of back and forth here. Let me do a little bit of back and forth. Right, Let's pop this, then do that, just to get a little bit of a wombo combo going on. Then we go back and we pick up the stars card, and I'm fine with losing the item that I don't really know what it does to get two um, items. Because we might be able to get two pretty interesting secret room items. Maybe a cheeky death certificate again so soon? Who knows? Who knows? Um, let's try and... Hey, hey! I know you want that last coin. You're not getting it. <laughs> I love this enemy. Look at him. He's so scurred. We lose that. And, uh, not great. Taking fatal damage transforms into a ghost. That's, that's decent, at least. And honestly, the Necronomicon is definitely not as bad as it used to be. It's still not my favorite. Um, but we'll take it. I'm not too displeased with this result. I just want to get my, uh, my wacky wackies going so I can... Take these guys out a little bit quicker. That guy's situated on top of the rocks. Good, good. Now this was a mistake. I kind of ran in here, all guns blazing. Ooh, our new floor has a um, chance to prevent a curse. There would be one. I I'm guessing it's gold. That's a 90% chance because it's 45 doubled. If that's true, that's very good. <laughs> um... Just been able to remove all the curses. I know there is some good curses out there, but for the most part, 90% chance to remove a curse sounds pretty darn good to me. You watch us get a curse now, literally the first time we go down to the next floor. I guarantee it. <laughs> it's going to do it, isn't it? Ooh, we didn't get one this time. We'll take the apple, I think. Thank you. And yeah, we didn't miss out on much there. Bum, bum, boom, bap, boom, boom. Ooh, we'll go in here and do a bit of a Necronomicon thing. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I've kind of got a few plans going on because I've been invited to three separate parties um, and I don't really know which one I'm going to. Unfortunately, one of them I can't. My, my family's invited me to one back home, but I just it's too difficult to get back for that time just because I have work that day, um, which is a shame. Um, but... I've been invited to two different friends' New Year's parties, um, and I think I'm going to try and go to both. 
Oh, new boss. We got Pee Wee. I mean, he's dead now, but... <laughs> new boss. Cool. Whoops. Probably should have let him fight a little bit there. That's a brand new boss that's just come out. Ooh, we get the Sinner's Sight. Awesome. Uh, gain Herming. T has a chance to fear enemies. Fear enemies take damage, uh, extra damage from all sources. Very, very nice indeed. Um, obviously, the Herming is a big part of why that's good as well. Very much like that. Yeah, so um, one, one friend is someone that I work with. Um, that I've been sort of meeting up with a little more recently. Hmm. This is interesting. Let's go play out the rest of the floor first, and we'll come back to that. Because if we can get a golden penny or a golden bomb, I'd be pretty happy with either of those. I'd be pretty damn happy with either of those. I really didn't have to use that there, but we've done it now. I didn't realize that Necronomicon would uh, would help us proc our uh, our swingies, which is pretty nice. Right, we haven't got any way to get any extra money. I probably should have gone into the item room with my uh, with my jawbone there to pick up the extra coins because it can allow you to pick stuff up behind walls. Uh, right, so how do we want to do this? Because it costs keys to play this guy. I, I think I'm going to bomb this dude. Hope for more keys. Unfortunately, we didn't get them. Um, I'll bomb you as well. A pill. Speed down. Not great. I can only really afford to do one here. So I'm really hoping this pays out. You bastard. Okay. Later, dude. In fact. Hey. They gave us enough to use our shop. Nice. Oh, that was a little bit unfortunate. Little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. By the way, I saw a few comments in some of the recent videos. Someone said, like, how is my game so laggy? I'm playing with, like, 140 mods right now. <laughs> That's how. I have an insane amount of mods on. I basically, I, I used to keep my mod list pretty slim to try and keep lag down as much as possible. But at the end of the day, I'd rather take, like, 5 to 10 FPS hit in some rooms and be able to use way more interesting mods. Because the thing is, the mods aren't just for me to enjoy the game. Like, I enjoy using them, but there's also the fact that I want to showcase what people do. I want, I, want, I want it out there. I want to give some mods that maybe aren't getting as much exposure, some extra exposure, because I think, I think it, they really need it. Um, there's, there's a lot of mods out there that go pretty underrated and don't really hit the mark in terms of, like, the best thumbnail or whatnot. And so they kind of get forgotten about by a lot of people and it's, it's, it's a real shame so I like to like use all sorts of mods and kind of showcase them and and show off what there is in the Isaac modding community because there really is just some fantastic stuff out there that's why I'm like a big advocate for Ipecac oh really there's a spike rock there I didn't even see that um that's why I'm a big advocate for Ipecac like there is some bad press around Ipecac and there has been uh before just based on the fact that it, it can cause more lag than the average mod but I I I for one, I love using it because it's one of my favorite mods. For two, they literally added me to the game. They essentially, they did a really smart thing there. They basically secured the fact that I now have to use this mod forever by adding me to the game, which is pretty smart, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> uh, let's try and get some damage with this. Haha, -ha, your little ghost screws you over, fool. Um... Yeah, so, uh, and I, I want to showcase to people that Ipecac's a really good mod. For some people, I know it's not quite as vanilla as some people like it. Some people prefer um, mods to be a bit more, I, I wouldn't say normal, but a little more, like, in line with the vanilla style. I think some of Ipecac is, some of Ipecac isn't. It kind of depends. Um, Lump of Coal is rather nice here. Um, there's, there's definitely a few things in terms of theming that I'd probably change, but for a lot of it, I think it fits in quite well. Um, but yeah, so I kind of like to showcase mods like that, where some people maybe don't think as much of them or, or haven't really tried them. I kind of want to be like, hey, look, these mods are really good. These mods are very enjoyable. Come and have a look-see. Oh god, ah, should have swiped there, that was stupid. Might be able to get a little bit of extra kills out of this. We got one. But honestly, with, with the Sinner's Heart thing we got going on right now, we're pretty much set for the rest of the run. Especially if we can get additional ways to fear enemies. Right now, we, we are fearing on hit randomly, but if we can get, like, 
is it dark shot it's called or whatever it is um that one would increase our chance to do fear shots would be really good for us um ooh, very much take dirty mind here dirty mind is fantastic in my opinion i really really like it and i i just love dirty mind in fiend folio just the fact that it has so much additional potential um in terms of the different poop types that are available it's just really fun anyways we kind of had a semi dirty mind run the other day because we had um really that hit me okay um we kind of had a dirty mind run the other day because we had the soiled heart which are insanely powerful by the way um let's try and get some extra consumables using our white fire i don't think we're at too much risk of dying so i'm gonna give it a go it says that we have two holy mantles i don't think that's true You know what? This is a room that annoyed me last time. I'm just going to use the book. Yeah, that's the sort of stuff I'm looking for. Additional keys. We definitely need a bit more range. Right now, our homing is good, but not amazing. Just because we, we're not really being able to home in on enemies for long. Hey, we got a hank, man. That's really, really nice. Um, we don't. We probably shouldn't use that yet, but that's definitely something for the future. Okay, I didn't really think about the fact that we turn into the swing ding boy. Um, it's not particularly useful as this guy. Um, we will grab this. Why? Why not? I, I I might even do a mother run now. Now that I'm now that I'm here, it kind of feels right, doesn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, so much extra consumables and stuff. This is what we like to see. Um, We could do Buster as well. Buster wasn't that hard. He isn't a particularly easy boss in my opinion. Oh, we get a bunch of soap babies. Hell yes. Crack that open. Unfortunately, nothing amazing there. I also love that Dirty Man just has a chance to replace regular rocks with poop too. I think that's super useful. Look at that. Just keep killing the little girths to keep him dead. Easy kill on this guy. Good, good. Poof, you're gone. And honestly, not bad. Fraudulent fungus. I do not mind it. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Come on, my little shampoops. You beautiful bastards. Right, and away we go. Not too bad at all. And we've even got more here. Look, look at that. Beautiful. Bum, ba, dun, da, 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 dun. Secret room. Ba, da, 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 da. I really should look for the secret room. It's, I don't know if it's obvious, but it looks obvious to me. It should be here. I'm not 100% sure on that, but yeah. See, we've got a haunted chest. Eh, that's good, but I'd rather have my zero curses, to be honest. That seems more intriguing to me. Now, we've got a few places that second secret room could be. Um, I think it's here. Yeah. Nice one, bunch of extra money. We might even be able to go to our shop here and make it work. Let's give it a go, shall we? Ceiling with the stars, an item I haven't seen in such a long time. Two lemma getting wisps at the start of each floor when sleeping in a bed. I really, really, really like that. It's a very good item that, yeah, I haven't seen in a really long time. Right. Let's go. Two random lemma getting wisps could give us some really good items. It could also give us some bad items too, but let's hope for the good items, shall we? So we'll see what we end up getting here. We got Ares and the Golden Rope, I think. Golden Rope is when we get hit, we'll fire like 
lasers at enemies. It's not particularly good for us, but it's not bad either. I'm not a big fan of this room. There you go. Little fire throwers there. Give me more poops. I need the poops. I don't really care about you losing some of my swing time here. Is that a multi-clickety flap? That was interesting. Yeah, I need a key here to get into my item room, especially while we've got um, options. I really want to get into my item room whenever I can. I should probably pop uh, this as well, actually. I didn't really think about that. Try and use it as long as we can. Really? None of those dropped pennies? Okay, that was a bit of a waste. I thought they'd all drop pennies while I've got this active, but apparently not. This has been kind of a waste of time with this so far. I didn't expect it to not count if I, um, if I didn't kill them directly with tears. But apparently it doesn't count if you don't kill them directly with tears. Good to know. What on earth is this enemy? Oh, it's just like the brain enemy from the other floor, but this version. We also got a massive poop army here. Can you, like, shit out your brain, please? Thank you. Wow. Yeah, unfortunately, that card was a bit of a bust. Didn't really get much from it. Come on, give us a key, game. Give us a key. So much floor to go at. There's got to be a key somewhere around here. Oh, damn. Oh, that has Herming, too. That's kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Let's just do the boss straight away, shall we? Oh, this is an XL floor, and this is Singe. It's Yellow Singe, though. I can't remember what Yellow Singe does. Oh, it's Poison. Okay. That's a little scary. He's also nicely blocked himself into a place where we can't hit him. Very lovely of you, Singe. Okay, we got him. Hey, and there's our keys. Okay, we got two keys as well, which we actually needed. I'm going to leave the other boss for now. Um, and go and get our two keys. I should have known this was an XL floor because I found the puzzle room. I'm stupid. Right, let's go get that first. Might be able to go to our shop as well if we get another key down the line. I love the way Ceiling with the Stars has that little Ceiling with the Stars thing in the uh, starting room as well. A really nice little detail. We got Toy Piano uh, to fire and inflict Doom. Doomed enemies gain a counter that goes down for every time they take damage until it reaches zero. Take a large amount of damage, removing the Doom status effect. Yeah, we'll go for that. I I've never really seen the Doom status effect being super useful, I'll be honest, but I might as well give it a go. Also, secret room here, potentially. There you go. I always feel so proud when I manage to find the secret room on, a, um, on an XL floor. Hey, we got a Zealot Heart there. Nice. We also got the Disciple's Eye. Reveals the ultra um, secret room. 33% chance to spawn a crack key upon using a sacrifice room. Spawns a crack key on pickup. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the we'll leave the zealot heart for now. We'll try, and I mean try, and remember to come back for it. There is not a 100% chance that I will remember, but we are going to try. Poop your brain out, sir. Why do you take so long to do this? And you poop two brains out, what the hell? Yeah, sealing with the stars plus having a zealot heart is going to be really good. There's another key there, that could mean our shop works out for us. This guy's going to try to throw things at me, no thank you. No throwy throwies. Ow, he actually got me. You little bastard. Um, Papilla Duplex gives us Spectral. Oh, Gimpy probably would have been a little bit better, but we'll take that. Um, and then our Cracked Key can go here. And give us access to this Ultra Secret Room. And then, yeah, we can use Sacrifice Rooms to gain more um, Cracked Keys. I'm glad that item got nerfed. It used to just give you a, like, a Cracked Key at the start of every floor. Ooh, Shovel. Pretty good. We'll take that. Um, we also got a crawl space as well. Wasn't expecting that. Kind of an interesting crawl space here. Ooh, we got the uh, the singed thing. I like this. Damn it. Whoa. That's a big brimstone, boy. That's one big-ass brimstone. 
Hey, and we got an old chest that we don't have a fucking key for. Damn it. Right, we do have a key back over there, though. I'll go grab that. But yeah, having spectral now, I don't think we had spectral before, so it's going to make hitting things a lot easier. There's the key. Lovely. Right. Old chest. Crack you open. And that's the triple salt heart payout. Pretty much the exact payout I was hoping for. Really nice. Ooh, mega chest. Unfortunately, we can't open that yet. But I will bomb this at least. And, hmm, do I want that? There is definitely a world in which I do want that. I did not mean to pick it up right there and then, though. There's a key. Bomb this. So th if we take this, we get, like, basically no curses. If we take the shadow, spawns one nightmare familiar, which um, erratically orbits the player and attacks nearby enemies with homing tears. Familiar respawns each room if it dies. Yeah. He's cute. I like him. Let's keep on moving on. Got a little battery here. So far, we are three for three on the digging up chests, which is pretty good. This thing has a, from what I've seen before, kind of low chance to give you stuff. So being three for three is pretty insane. Right, down we go. We don't have a sack room this floor. We can use our shop to do that. What the hell is that thing? The snap bang. On use, place a small explosive charge on the floor. Explodes with contact to any monster, dealing 10 times the player damage and confuses enemies in the explosion radius. Eh, it's good, but I'd really rather keep my shovel right now. Also, I should be destroying these poops. The little sterny fellas. Why not? The little sternians. One second. Right, let's keep her going. Okay, we've got great giddy in here. But of course. We still need that range up. We've had a tiny range up. From 5 to 538, but nothing significant as of yet. Honestly, the Doom thing's working out quite nicely right now. Especially with Herming when we're hitting things a lot more regularly. Oh, hello. These things scare me. Yeah, that, that does a lot of damage. A few more of these bad boys. Ooh. Not a big fan of those little shard things that you guys throw out. Ooh, I was not ready for the fire there. Do, 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 do. Nice. Okay, we did it. Got a soul heart at the start of each level. That's so good. And again, we get a chest. I'm going to open this one, see what we get. Unfortunately, nothing crazy. Um, but I think we're ready to go. And I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Don't worry. I very nearly forgot, but I opened my map and I saw it. And then I saw its face. And it was a zealot heart. Do not forget the beautiful little zealot heart. I definitely would have lost it in that fight, so I'm glad I didn't take it straight away. <laughs> good, good, good. Now we'll get three Lemmigetting Wisps at the start of the next floor, which is pretty good. We could we could actually effectively change up our entire build based on those three Lemmigetting Wisps. They could give us some really interesting stuff. Right. Have I made a mistake here? forgot about the door. I completely forgot about the door. Also, there was a tinted rock in that room that I missed. Shit! <laughs> My dumbness knows no bounds. I made it, I was like, oh look, I'm smart. Ha ha ha. I remembered. Ha ha ha. You fucking idiot, Turtle. You fucking idiot. You remembered nothing. You remembered nothing. Give me that blood bag. Oh, IV bag. Heck. Actually, IV bag's not bad as this character. Eh.
Yeah, a little bit upset at myself for completely forgetting we were going Mausoleum. I just didn't even consider the Mausoleum as a, as a potential avenue, considering I literally already said we were going down this path. I completely forgot about it, and of course, that caused me to do a dumb. D12, decent item, but not really worth right now. Holy shit. This thing, I swear it's only meant to be a chance to dig up chests, right? Has a chance. We're literally four for four. Or five for five even now, I think. That's nuttily butterly. Absolutely obscene. Yeah, don't worry, we've got the health. Ah, we finally got a fail. It was bound to happen sooner or later. You can't have the golden god luck constantly. Don't you fire herming shots at me and think you can get away with it, sir. Bugger you. You think I'm going to do your little puzzle? No thanks. I am not doing your puzzle. Ooh, look at that massive damage from that Doom there. That was brilliant. Really good stuff. The Magician, that does give us range. I'll hold on to it. Boss is there. I still need to find our item room there. By the way, um, I, I don't know. I've been messing around with the sound settings on my PC a little bit. Mainly for, for Warzone related stuff. Trying to make the footstep sounds louder and stuff. Let me know if it's affected Isaac at all. I don't think it should have. I think the volume on the game should be very much the same. But do let me know if it's too loud. I, I'm looking at my mixer now. It looks fine. My voice is clearly louder than the game. So it looks like it should be fine. But if people take issue with it, please let me know. And I'll switch it back to how it was before. Or at least as close as I can get it to how it was before. more keys. What on earth is that looking thing? Oh my goodness. It sent out some sort of wizardry. Intriguing. Really? Why would you give me this now? Oh my god, that's a lot of brimstones. Hey yo! Be interesting if Petrified Poop did something with Dirty Mind. How exactly am I meant to pass over this? Is there a button somewhere I'm missing? Oh, there's a teleporter. Right, Toxic Shock is definitely the one we want. Um, we're going to have to bomb our way to it, though, by the looks of it. Thank you. And we got the Onk as well. Not great, but thank you. Cursed Candle. Fortunately, not great. Judgment. Spawns a reroll machine. Nice, okay. I'll keep that in stir for now. I'll find somewhere to utilize that. I'm not going to go to the separate mausoleum here. The fear poops are after me. Why am I still feared? Come on now. There you go. Fear poops. Assemble. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. But yeah, Toxic Shock shouldn't have been pretty valuable for us here. And the restock machine, I'm not exactly sure. We'll see what we can use that, but I've not got high hopes for it right now. I suppose we could use it in a Devil Deal if we get one, which we should. I say should, we definitely will. 
I can't imagine myself losing this much uh, soul heart health. Oh, this is a boss that I haven't fought before, or at least haven't fought in a really long time. He's pretty tough, but we have insane damage right now, so don't worry. He's got some really cool attacks. This guy's very different when it comes to um, Isaac bosses. A lot of the ones on this floor are, to be honest. But we got him. Do not worry. Do not fret. We'll take that flat damage up, thank you. And we'll come in here. And we have one item that I really, really want. And... I think I'm just going to reroll until I get something better than that here. Doghead's pretty good. See, that's exactly what we're looking for. That's exactly what we're looking for. A damage up, an increased fear shot chance, which in turn is a 1.5 times damage multiplier to anything that's feared. Pretty awesome. One second. I accidentally paused. I thought I was paused, so I tried to unpause and I was actually already paused. I think we got Clutch's Curse for our item here. Oh, wait, no. I think we just got Ipecac. I think we got Ipecac and Whiz Shot. Holy fuck, what is this? You see what I mean? Like, the two items you get could completely change your build. We got Ipecac and Whiz Shot. Movement speed applies to the damage multiplier. I like, I like that a lot. Oh my god. With Herming, it's not that bad, honestly. Damn it. Can I beat it? Can I beat it? No, I can't. Fuck. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, the whiz shot with, with uh, explosive with Hermie isn't all that bad. Ow. We need to be a little careful, though. Okay, we got whiz shots gone, which definitely makes things a lot easier for us. I will take that. Thank you. Honestly, let's buy the Soul Heart as well. Why not? Hard to tell how much of a damage increase that is when without damage is constantly changing. I'm just going to ignore that for now. Oh fuck, I forgot about the laser eyes. Took a bunch of damage I shouldn't have done there. It's fine. Quickly check this out. Flyboy. Wish I, wish I could take it if it was fixed. The beard. Um. Nah, nothing there's really going to fit in with what I want to do. I think we just lost Ipecac. Yeah, we just lost Ipecac. Well, that was a rather wacky selection of things to, to get given. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We got blood bombs this time around. Two trinkets. Ooh, ooh, this white poop has a chance to replace normal poop. Destroying a white poop has a chance to drop on a tail hat. That's insanely strong with Dirty Mind. Like, depending on how many poops we end up getting from it, obviously, it's quite late in the game now, so we might not get many. But generally, that's really, really good. Teethy boys. Don't know where those white 
by uh, oh we got that that's from uh, style the bottomless pit of course we got a stud there Right, um, spawns a stud penny on the ground, stud pennies are worth one penny in the player, um, but deal contact damage to enemies. Interesting. I just like the noise it makes. Just makes me reminisce. Come on, give us some white poops. You know you want to, game. You know you want to. Oh god, I'm I'm my brain is already melting at how to complete this room, so I'm gonna cheat. Right. Crack that guy open. Still, sadly, not a single Pringle of a white poop. Not a single one. What on earth is going on over there? I'm not sure I want to know. Holy fuck, everything just exploded. Okay, Mother's not going to be particularly easy, I don't think, with this amount of health as well. God damn maggots. Why do you have to count towards me having to kill you to open the room? Why can't it be like those little white spiders? Oh, we got Mr. Dead. A boss that I really love that I never get to see. Ow. Got him. One HP up spawns a random object. Kinder Egg. Yeah, give that a go. Honestly, our luck with this shovel has been immense. I haven't had any items from it yet, though, I don't think. For our lemma getting wisps this time, we got Dr. Fetus, which is really, really, really good with our setup right now. Um, and I think Mr. Mega as well. Not Mr. Mega, you know what I mean. The, the one that makes your bombs bigger. Again, this is what I'm saying. Wait, no, that was just like a random effect for that room, I think. Oh, wait, what? I'm confused. The, the, the first bomb I fired wasn't, and then the, the, the ones after that, like... Don't... Oh, bugger. I don't want my bloody swinging right now. It's always the problem with this character. At a certain point, the swinging actually gets annoying. Keep cracking this thing open, why not? Give me an item. You know you want to. Give me an item. Damn it. And I've got IBS as well, which actually isn't terrible for us. Wasn't expecting it at all. Dude, this guy is tanky. God, I'm kind of stressing out right now. Things have gotten tough. I do not like this at all. Oh, that was very scary. Gotta love the fact that we got Herming here. That's pretty good, but I don't want to take a full heart of damage right now. I feel like that would be a bad idea.
Lost soul. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be super useful on the last floor of the game, but thank you. See how that first bomb was a normal bomb, and the ones after it are bigger? Dude, how is this thing has so much health. Maybe it's just on a timer. Maybe it can't, like, die before a certain amount of time. Right, it's boss time. I don't want my swingies out. God damn it. Oh, there's some holy dips. I knew it would happen eventually. We lost Dr. Fetus, but we did a bunch of damage to him. And honestly, these holy dips, as long as they don't die too quickly, should be extremely useful. We got another one. Hell yes. What the hell was that noise? Okay, things are going decently here. The music is banging too. Oh, they're getting stuck on the dips. Although it has killed the vast majority of my dips, unfortunately. But it got stuck on them, which is a positive. I didn't realize it could get stuck on them, though. I did not want them to die. I think from this point onwards, the fight is going to be fairly slow. I'm going to try and use bombs wherever I can. This certainly makes it slower. Ow. Damn it. Just get in there. Boom, we got him. Okay, amazing. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very fun episode. We kind of like Yoda right now, by the way. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was all the fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.